Hi everyone, today we're continuing with our automating storm design series. This is part 4 where we create a smart rainwater leader piping system. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Now our next step is to create a piping system for our rainwater leaders. So for that we come here to Families, Piping Systems, Expand Piping System, and then we said we were going to base it off of the Hydronic Return System Classification. So we're going to duplicate, and now we're going to rename. In my case it's going to be AJS, Drain, because it's a drainage system, and then Rain Water Leader. You would do something similar for overflow. You go to type properties and then you can overwrite your graphics. In my case, I'm going to keep the same pattern and the same weight, but I'm going to change the color to green, something I'm used to. For calculations, I'm going to keep it simple. I just want the flow, flow only. This is the most important thing that the system classification is hydronic return. So water, this temperature is fine. Now system abbreviation, I want it to be RWL for rainwater liter. And I'm not going to have any comments or anything else. So I'm done with this. Hit OK. I have a draw quick section here. From here to here. Now if we go to our section. I make sure that my detail level is set to fine. And let's just take a pipe down. Just out of the roof train. The only thing I want to check here is that if I click on my roof train. You see how I have the total area. And I have the flow in GPM at 65 GPM. This pipe here. Let's actually take it to the system that we want. By default, it picked up hydronic return because that's the mother system classification. But I can select any other system that is based off of the same system classification. In this case, I want the rainwater leader one. And I can see that it's perfectly connected because my roof train changed in color. But now the interesting thing is that now if I click on the pipe, I can see that my pipe is reading a flow. See, 65 GPM, which is coming from the roof train. So we've accomplished a lot. And I remind you that you can sign up for the BIM It Up community absolutely free just by going to the website bimitup.com then clicking on the login button and then you can sign up with your Google information, Facebook information or with your email address. Once I approve you, you should be able to just log in with your information. All the BIM It Up courses are available at bimitup.com so if you go to the website and your sign in, you can click on your profile picture and go to my programs. And then you'll see all the programs that you've signed up for under the active tab. And if you want to join another one, you simply come here to view our program. And then you can join any new programs that are available.